Wolfenstein is a first-person shooter video game developed by Raven Software and published by Activision, part of the Wolfenstein video game series. It serves as a sequel to the 2001 entry Return to Castle Wolfenstein, albeit loosely, and uses an enhanced version of id Software's id Tech 4. It was released in August 2009 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, to a lukewarm reception by critics, as well as poor commercial sales, selling a combined 100,000 copies within its first month. This was the final game id Software oversaw as an independent developer, released two months after their acquisition by Zenimax Media in June 2009. Plot. <inaudible> 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 The story is set in the fictional town of Eisenstadt during World War II, which the Nazis have enforced martial law in order to excavate rare Nazun crystals necessary to access the Black Sun dimension. As the game progresses, happenings in Eisenstadt become stranger, military patrols are replaced by supernatural creatures, etc. Locations include the town's sewers, a tavern, a hospital, a farm, an underground mining facility, a church, the SS headquarters, a dig site and caverns, a cannery, a radio station, a paranormal base, a general's home, a castle, an airfield, and a large zeppelin. Topic. Story In an introduction sequence, Special Agent William B.J. Blaskowitz steals a medallion from a general on the German battleship Tirpitz. Discovered and captured, he unwittingly unleashes the power of the medallion, which kills all his foes for him. Hijacking a plane from the Tirpitz, he escapes and returns to the OSA headquarters. During a meeting there, he learns that the medallion needs crystals called Notsun, mined only in a city in Germany called Eisenstadt, to make use of its full power. The Nazis have begun digging for crystals, led by a general named Victor Zeta. Blaskowitz is sent to Eisenstadt, but his cover is blown by an unknown informant. He then meets up with agents from the Kreisau Circle, a German resistance group dedicated to fighting the Nazis, and with them, makes it to Eisenstadt. In Eisenstadt, he meets the brothers Stefan and Anton Krieg, who run the black market where Blaskowitz can upgrade all of his weapons and powers, he pays for upgrades with gold earned from missions or found scattered throughout the game. He also meets the leader of the Kreisau Circle, a former schoolteacher named Caroline Becker and her lieutenant Eric Engel. Becker sends Blaskowitz on a mission into a dig site, where he frees a young Russian named Sergei Kovlov. He also finds an exact copy of the medallion that he found on the Nazi warship, which Kovlov calls the Thule Medallion. Kovlov introduces Blaskowitz to the Golden Dawn, a group of scholars who specialize in the occult, founded and led by Dr. Leonid Alexandrov. The youth also shows Blaskowitz how to use the Thule Medallion. With a crystal provided by Kovlov, Blaskowitz is able to enter the Veil, a barrier between the real world and a dimension known as the Black Sun. In the veil the player is able to run faster, jump higher and walk through doors which have the black sun symbol. Using the veil, he manages to escape. As Blaskowitz completes more missions, he gains new weapons and new defensive and offensive powers for the Thule medallion. Eventually, he manages to kill General Zeta, who turns out to be a monster when viewed through the veil. The Black Market, the Kreisau Circle, and the Golden Dawn then move to a new location in downtown Eisenstadt to escape retaliation for Zeta's death. Shortly after the move, Caroline Becker is captured and held in a nearby castle. Blaskowitz helps the Kreisau Circle stage a rescue mission. He confronts Zeta's replacement, Obergruppenführer Wilhelm Death's Head Strasse, who is eager for revenge after Blaskowitz destroyed his Ubersoldat program in return to Castle Wolfenstein. During a struggle, Caroline appears to be killed by Hans Gross, Death's Head's henchman. Upon Blaskowitz's return to Eisenstadt, Stefan Krieg informs him that he has killed his brother, Anton, thinking he was the mole and betrayed both Blaskowitz and Caroline. Blaskowitz then finds out that a Nazi superweapon, powered by Black Sun Energy, is about to be fired at the city from a zeppelin that has been hovering over the city since Blaskowitz first arrived in Eisenstadt. He boards the airship, where he discovers that Dr. Alexandrov was the real traitor all along. Alexandrov's treachery is rewarded only by an execution at the hand of Hans Gross. In order to prepare the weapon, Death's Head and Gross enter the Black Sun through a portal that Nazi scientists had excavated and reassembled. Blaskowitz jumps in after them. 
In The Black Sun, he encounters Hans Gross guarding the machine that powers Death's Head's superweapon. Gross greets him in a mechanical suit outfitted with two chain guns, recreating his earlier appearance in Wolfenstein 3D, and a Thule medallion identical to Blaskowitz's. Blaskowitz kills Gross by jamming the Not Sun crystals from his medallion into Gross's. He then destroys the machine, but Death's Head flees through the portal before BJ can capture him. The explosion takes out the portal and destabilizes the Zeppelin, effectively destroying all ways of accessing the Black Sun dimension. B.J. grabs onto a parachute and leaps from the railing. Shortly afterward, the Zeppelin falls from the sky and B.J. witnesses as it crashes into the distant castle, severely damaging the castle in a giant series of explosions. In a post-credits cutscene, a wounded death's head is seen clambering out of the burning Zeppelin and castle debris, screaming in frustration. <laughs> development. Wolfenstein uses an improved version of id Software's id Tech 4 video game engine, the technology behind Doom 3 and enemy territory, Quake Wars. The game was developed by Raven Software for Windows, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The modifications to the game engine include depth of field effects, soft shadowing, post-processing effects, havoc physics, as well as the addition of a supernatural realm, called the Veil. While in the veil the player has access to certain special abilities, such as the power to slow down time, to get around obstacles that exist in the real world, or even to be able to defeat enemies that have an otherwise impenetrable shield similar to Spirit Walk from the previous id Tech 4 title Prey. The multiplayer part of Wolfenstein was developed by Endron Studios. Wolfenstein is the first in a string of id Software games not planned to have a Linux port continued on throughout Rage onwards, with the person in charge of Linux ports at id, Timothy Bessett, commenting that, It is unlikely the new Wolfenstein title is going to get a native Linux release. None of it was done in-house, and I had no involvement in the project. On the day of Wolfenstein's release, a PC patch was released to address several issues with the online multiplayer component. The multiplayer development studio, Endrant Studios, soon laid off some of its workforce after the completion of the development of Wolfenstein's multiplayer. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Motion Comics. Four promotional motion comics, each about 3 minutes long, were released. Each was based on a particular installment in the Wolfenstein series and served as a nostalgic reminder. The first one recreated Wolfenstein 3D's escape from Castle Wolfenstein, the Hans Gross killing and the final battle against Adolf Hitler. The second was based upon Wolfenstein 3D's prequel game Spear of Destiny, and recreated its final battle, in which BJ fights the cybernetic Death Knight and the Angel of Death for control of the spear. The third comic was based on Return to Castle Wolfenstein and recreated the battle with Olaric, the destruction of an experimental V-2 rocket and later the final battle against Heinrich I. The fourth comic was based on the Wolfenstein's own cinematic introduction and shows BJ infiltrating a Nazi battleship and stealing the first Thule medallion. Reception The game received average reviews on all platforms according to the review aggregation website Metacritic. IGN gave the game a positive review, though Jason Ocampo said of it. You can't help but wish that they developed the kernel of ideas in this game into something more. As it is, this new Wolfenstein comes off as an engaging, if otherwise forgettable, shooter. 411 Mania gave the Xbox 360 version 8 out of 10 and said that it holds up this tradition of mindless fun, although it doesn't do anything revolutionary. The Daily Telegraph gave the PlayStation 3 version 7 out of 10 and called it a game that swings wildly in quality on an almost minute-by-minute basis, and a rather vanilla multiplayer offering doesn't do much to quicken the pulse. However, the AV Club gave the same console version AC Plus and said that the multiplayer feels jerky and unbalanced. Edge gave the same console version 5 out of 10 and said, For all its foibles, Raven's brand of brazen, aimless carnage is a gruesome thrill with just enough dynamism in each battle to keep its anachronistic heart beating. 
As a result of low sales figures only 100,000 copies were sold in its first month, Activision laid off employees from Raven Software. The game has been unavailable digitally on Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, or Steam since 2014 for unknown reasons. Sequel <inaudible> 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 A follow-up, Wolfenstein, The New Order, was developed by Machine Games and published by Bethesda Softworks. It launched on May 20, 2014 in the U.S. on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows platforms. The ninth installment takes place during the 1960s in an alternate history world where the Nazis won World War II. Players again take the role of Blaskowitz. <laughs> 